and welcome to the next tutorial. Today we're going to be making a nameplate. Now if you're doing this, there's a very good chance this is your first assignment in Tinkercad. So welcome to the club. You are one of us. One of us. Congratulations. You are one of us. First thing we're going to do is we're going to write our names here at the very top. My name's Adrian, so I'm going to put Adrian. And I like to write what I'm doing. So this is called a nameplate. There it is. All right, so we're gonna go to the basic or the shapes library. And I'm gonna drag this box. Notice if you hover over it, the box appears, the word box. So I'm gonna drag this over here. Now you have some options, okay? Now, every time you click on a box, you're gonna have these settings to play with. We're not actually gonna play with them right now, but you could, okay? Very cool things you can do here. However, however, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a very basic nameplate. We don't wanna to scare too many people making this too complicated. So let's zoom in. I'm using the, the mouse wheel. If you have a, a wheel at the center of your mouse, you can just, wherever you're pointing, it'll go in that direction. See, now I'm going over there, now over there. I'm gonna click the wheel down and then move it around here. Okay, so look, if I do this, grab it by one of the corners, the white corners, you could adjust it that way, right? Now I'm going to hit Control Z or Command Z. And wait, let me type. Oh, okay. I'm just checking something right now because in my settings, technically, you should be seeing. Oh, the, sorry. There. Oh, good. Now you can see that stuff. So I'm going to drag it over here. And this is what I want you to see. If I drag this corner, it will only go in one direction. You see that? Now I'm going to do. Command Z or Control Z so that it goes in the right place where it started. Or if I drag it from this little side right here, a little black side, it only goes in that direction. Again, I'm going to do Command or Control Z, depending on which computer you're using. Okay. What I want is for this to be 100. I could keep on going until that number at the bottom reaches 100, but I am way too lazy for that. I'm just going to type it. 100. Now these are 100 millimeters. I'm gonna zoom out using my mouse so you can see what I'm doing here. And there we go. We have 100 and this is 20 going back here. Now I'm gonna right click and hold it down. That's what the little circle means at the point of my arrow is that I'm holding it down. See that? That way I can look around here. Now I'm gonna hold it down, hold the click wheel down so I can see from different angles. Now I'm right clicking. It's very good to get to know how, how to move these things. So now this right here, the white box, not the black arrow, the white box. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to type the number five. And these are all millimeters, five millimeters. That's pretty thick, pretty aggressive. I'm okay with that. Now this nameplate, we're going to have to put a name on it. I'm going to click text, drag it over here. Now, some of you are going to do this, right? They're going to put it right there. And this is going to float on top of the red box. If I do it here, it'll be on this work plane. At this point, it's not a big deal, but it will be later. Just watch. So I'm going to put in my last name here. Mr. Umparo. Wow. It looks so much longer when I type it like that. Okay, very important stuff here. Now, I could just shrink it, but then it looks kind of weird, right? Do you see how it changed all that? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit Control Z and, or Command Z. I'm gonna hold the Shift button down and then drag this over here. You see how it stays the same ratio from here to here? Okay, I'm gonna drag this over here. Whoa, I can barely see it. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to click here and I want this to be six and then enter. You don't want it to be too tall because it will break off very easily. Trust me, I've made enough of these that I know, I know what I'm talking about. Okay, so here's, here's a situation here, okay? This isn't perfectly aligned between this point and that point. Let's zoom in. You know what? Let's do a shortcut here. I could click here to zoom in, or I can press the letter F. You see how it's green right there? I'm gonna press the letter F to zoom in there. 
I like that shortcut. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click and drag over both of these objects. And then I'm going to click the letter L, which is a shortcut for this one right here, the Align tool. So I click the letter L. Now it's telling me I can align it all right here. And look what happens when I do that. The letter P in my name, if you can see it all the way down in the background, is now aligned with the end of this box. If I hover over this dot, it'll be centered to both of them. Over here, the letter M and the letter A will be aligned to the top. You see that in the yellow, how it's outlined? I'm going to move over here and look, if I align it this way, my name will be centered to the entire block. Very cool tool, very nice to use. I'm going to click it here and look what's going to happen. Not much, right? Not much, but you're going to see a difference in a little bit. Okay, just so we can see this better, I'm going to click on just, notice I clicked away first. I'm going to just click on my name and I'm going to make it black. Now the color you choose here does not matter for the printing. Well, it might later, but technically it does not because you can change the colors at any time. Now I want there to be a hole here so I can put this on my backpack or I don't know, shoelace. I don't know. Just don't be tripping on yourselves. I'd hate to be in a lawsuit because you guys did something goofy. Okay. I didn't click on my name. Do you notice how the box moved around? So let me click on my name there. I'm going to hold the shift button down because I want this to be a little bit smaller. Now, because I did that, the height has changed. So I'm going to click away, click on there, and the white box tells me the height. Do you remember what height it was before? Six. And I'm going to hit enter. The box should be at 100. There it is. And over here, 20. And the height should be five. Perfect. Now, let's make a hole right here. I'm going to drag this over here. And obviously, way too big, right? Here's the other thing. Sometimes, and this happens a lot, when students drag it over here, it didn't do it for mine, but a lot of times it'll land like this. I'm going to click the W because that changes my work plane, but we'll get into that later. I'm going to click it here and then the letter D. Okay, don't even worry about that part. I'm just showing you what I see. If you see something like this, that means that this hole, this is a hole by the way, because you can see through it, is resting on top of this object. It's not going through it, it's going on top. So what I need to do is I'm going to click this. You can do this one of two ways. This is the hard way, by the way. Use the arrow and drag it down until you see it underneath there. Great. By the way, that hole is going to break, you see, right? Oop, let me zoom in with my mouse. Your hole is going to break right there. You don't want that. We need to make this smaller. Do you see how hard it is to, to move it around right now? Do you guys remember the shortcut so I can see it better? So you can see it better? I'm going to click the letter F. There it is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink this. Now I want it to be a perfect circle. So I'm going to hit shift. I'm going to hold the shift button down. And then I'm going to move it towards the center of the circle. Ah, move the wrong button there. Okay, so there it is, right? Not bad. I have a little bit of thickness here, a little bit of thickness there. Great, but something's off. First of all, let's look at our uh, our settings for this particular circle that cylinder that's a hole right now. Now, you could move this up to 128. It's just going to make a perfectly smooth circle. But 48 technically is not bad. Let's zoom in to see what it gives us. It's hard to tell, but these are actually straight lines. 48 is perfect for this. We're good. We don't need any bevels, segments. We're good. We're not going to change anything, but you know what? We're going to use the align tool. So I'm going to select these two things. Before I selected it by clicking and dragging. This time I'm going to select in a, in a different way. I'm going to hold down the shift button, click on the red box, and then I'm going to while still holding the shift button, click on the hole. Now both of these are selected. My name is not selected. 
Now, I'm going to try to get this hole to be in the center of this block. Do you remember what tool I used or what shortcut? The letter L, which is also this one right here. Here's the shortcut on here. I'm going to align it by clicking the letter L. And then there it is. This is now the exact center of the box. You're probably wondering why my name is a little bit higher than the center. That's because the letter P is sticking out from the bottom and the M and the A are sticking out on the top. So technically that makes it look, well, technically it's in the center, but it makes it look like it's a little bit higher. I'm just gonna move it down a little bit because it doesn't have to be perfectly centered technically or, you know, preferably you just want it to look cool. All right. I'm going to move this over just a little bit. Ooh. I don't really want, I think I'm just going to make this shrink. I'm going to hit the shift and then I moved it over a little bit there. My name's over here. It's fine over here. Now what I want, I want that hole to stay there. I want it to go all the way through. So I'm going to look underneath here first. Yeah. By the way, I never showed you the second way of doing this. If you ever want this to go all the way to the ground, by the way, the work plane is what I'm talking about right here. You can just click the letter D and it automatically goes right there. See the letter D moves things to the work plane. Let me show you what I mean. I can drag this up here. Click the letter D always touches the ground. If I move it down here and I click D always goes there. So great shortcut. Memorize that one. So I, I'm going to select everything. You see that? Everything. Now you could do it the other way. Shift, click, hold the shift, click again, hold the shift, click again. It's the same thing. This is just a faster way. I'm going to hit control G, which is the same as this one right here. Now, if you wanted to, I'm going to undo this control Z. If I wanted to, I can hit bundle but it won't actually make the hole. In this case, I want it to actually make the hole. So from the from this setting, I'm just gonna click here. It takes a little bit longer to make it because it's actually processing stuff and making things. Great, we have it. This is the nameplate and it's pretty thick, it's pretty solid. Now, let's say you wanted to share this project with a teacher or maybe a friend. You can just hit send to, scroll down to the bottom, invite people generate new link, copy that link. Now you can email your teacher or put it in a Google form and send it to someone. Great. Good choice. However, if you want to export it, you can click here, export. In my class, I prefer STL. In other videos, I'm going to show you how to export it with an OBJ, but it's a little more complicated and SVG will be in another video. Trust me, it's there and it's super cool, but we're not doing that yet. STL is a good way of doing it. And when you do, well, in mine, it, it actually is going to ask me, Hey, where do you want to save this? And then I get to tell where it's saved for most other computers. You'll get a little thing, a little arrow down here that says you've downloaded something. You can click there and then, um, you'll find where you have it downloaded. It's very important for you to actually print this. Okay. Thanks for watching and welcome to the club. You are now one of us. Have a great day.